might not actually believe that we could make a terrific TV toy out of the sky. But believe it, we can. Because you know what? Back in the 1980s and 1990s, every appearance that Michael Jackson made was really big. And there was one particular nationally televised appearance that he made, an awards show, that got a lot of attention for him. And it wasn't just because he won favorite male pop artist, favorite pop single, favorite pop album, and whatever else that night. Step back in time with me to January 16th, 1984. The 11th Annual American Music Awards, airing on ABC, hosted by Lionel Richie. One very special performing artist in attendance that evening, winning multiple awards, making a powerful fashion statement, and even having a lovely female celebrity on his arm, Ms. Brooke Shields. This was Michael Jackson really exploding onto the scene and really becoming the star of the decade. <laughs> and take a close look. Drink it in. Okay, here's one of many awards he won that night. Drink it in. Take a look. Because we're about to see this in a different format. This signature look that Michael Jackson created for himself cemented that evening. So are you ready? <laughs> Love it. Okay, um, here it is. Wow. <laughs> this is a heckin' treasure. My mother bought this for me back in the day, back in 1984, because I was a huge fan of Michael Jackson as a teenager. And look what she paid, okay? Let me see if I can get this to show up. Six friggin' 97. Oh my word. You know, right after Michael Jackson died in June 2009, I saw these for sale online for about 500 bucks. But um, you can be thankful that the price has gone down since then. <laughs> it's much more reasonable. I just saw this on eBay actually for um, about $10 and it looked like it was in better shape than mine was. Um, so, and there are others in this set too. And this is by LJN. Um, it is 1984. MJJ Productions, Inc., the fine print says here. But there are others in the set, and I saw these on eBay as well. There's um, the Thriller Video Red Leather Outfit. There's the Beat It Video Red Leather Jacket and Black Pants. There's the Grammy Awards Outfit, too, that has the blue military-style jacket and gold pants. And then the Billie Jean Video Outfit that was black. You could buy the outfits separately, too, and you can find those on eBay now. It is interesting to note that there's a proof of purchase on this, so this one would get you three points. <laughs> nice. And I will note that there are other Michael Jackson dolls out there made over the years by other manufacturers. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this guy. This was a rare case of me actually keeping the box for something. I didn't usually do that when I was a kid or a teenager or whatever. Um, but I think because this was Michael Jackson, that's why I kept the box. I thought, oh, well, this is special. He's super mega famous, so let's keep the box for this one. The box is in pretty rough shape, uh, but I do believe what's inside is intact. All the different pieces and parts. It says glittering magic glove. Okay, magic glove. <laughs> Microphone and posing stand included fully posable authentic stage outfit etc okay so I'll we'll just take a look at the whole box since I kept it recreate his famous dance steps okay well we'll see if we can do that <laughs> come on out and let's have a look at you Michael I think he's in really good shape the doll itself oh he's got the stand there okay so we got the stand Part of it and I think the base is in here and I see oh my word yeah I really do keep things because um, if I can reach in and get this oh no I guess those are attached the twisty ties are in there that's what I'm looking at but we've got a microphone and we've got 
a stand. I think that's all that's in the box. Okay, great. Let's set the box aside for a second. The stand has his name, his signature name. Looks really dirty or dusty. I really have not gotten this out of the box in so long. And then on the bottom, it's got instructions for fitting the top piece into it. Um, it also says copyright 1984 MJJ Productions LJN Toys Limited. All right, so we'll put that piece on there. Fits very nicely after all these years. What, 30 something? And the doll itself. <laughs> oh, he's, um, you know, he's pretty, pretty well made, I think. Um, if you look on the back, it's got that copyright again 1984, MJJ Productions, LJN Toys, etc. Um, and then he's got his military style jacket on. Now, if you recall, I really do consider that American Music Awards appearance for him um, pretty key because he created this look, this military style look. And as I mentioned, he also had a military style jacket for the Grammy Awards that was in blue. And then he received a, an award from the White House, from the Reagans at that same time. And he was wearing another military style jacket in white. And then he would vary it over the years as he made his appearances and as he performed, but it very much was um, part of his whole persona. And then let's talk about the glove. <laughs> Do we all remember the glove thing? On this um, doll, it's a mitten <laughs> and glittery, um, but in real life, it was a glove. And did you catch in that appearance in the clip that I just showed from YouTube that actually it shows him with this outfit, but with a black glove on? And it was on this right hand, um, but it was black. But don't you recall that back then when he wore the glove, it tended to be white most of the time, I think. We we tended to know him as having a white glove, but a single glove, because that was just his thing that he did. <laughs> Call it weird or whatever. Um, okay, so we've got red piping on the pants, and they're shiny. They're satiny pants. And then his um, socks. This is a cool element of this doll. Yeah, that we actually have the glittery socks there, just like you saw in that clip. And then he was wearing loafer-type shoes like this. So everything else on this doll is pretty true to what you saw at the American Music Awards. He does not have his glasses on, his sunglasses, like we saw in the clip. But um, do you think it looks like Michael Jackson? I think they did a pretty fair job. And then his microphone. So he's going to hang on to his microphone, and he's going to... Stand on his stand, <laughs> and that's our Michael doll. I really do like it. I'm so glad that I kept it over all these years, in addition to this piece of pop music history. You know, I saw a documentary recently about Michael Jackson, and it was done by Spike Lee, and I want to say it was on HBO. Um, I watched it a few weeks ago as a press time. And Spike Lee, in this documentary, covered his life from when he was a little tyke, like five years old, performing with his brothers in the Jackson 5, all the way up until the album right before this, which I believe was his fifth album, Off the Wall, and then Thriller was his sixth solo album. But Off the Wall is where Spike Lee cut off this documentary. And I thought that was such an interesting choice because this... Did this not change everything? This is what roped me in as a teenager. I saw, and you know, I saw this album, I heard this music, I loved it. I thought, oh my gosh, he's so hot. Here I was, a you know, a white teenager in the middle of nowhere, living on a farm in rural mid Michigan, and loving Michael Jackson. And that was one thing that really was a takeaway, I think, from the documentary that I watched is that he transcended so many boundaries and lines, racial boundaries and age boundaries and gender boundaries. And he just had fans everywhere. He had fans of every variety, including this one in Michigan, this little girl. And so I thought that that was cool that they somebody stated that in the documentary and it just affirmed what I had thought back then. And then I think, you know, for me looking at him as a fan, as a fervent fan back then, and then I, I tended to lose interest a little later when things got a little weird in later years. And I think probably a lot of people can say the same thing. For me, 
the big thing that stands out in his life was this album right here. That's why I just, I found it so interesting that the documentary stopped with Off the Wall. Maybe that was when um, the filmmaker just felt like he was still Michael, the Michael Jackson that we knew, the true Michael. And then after that point, things started getting weird. I don't know. If you feel differently, I'm always interested to hear a comment below um, because this has been a, at times, controversial figure in our pop culture and um, a very important figure, you know, a huge, huge, huge star. So um, here's my own keepsake. I will show you one other thing. I also owned the Off the Wall album. I just couldn't find it. I was fishing around downstairs. I don't know what box it's in, but I know I have it somewhere. But I was so into Michael. This was the epitome of my fandom. I was so into Michael that I also got this. <laughs> uh, remember this? Like the reunion of the Jackson brothers. There's Michael and his brothers. The victory tour and all of that. I mean, that's how much I was into it. Oh my gosh. Look at all of them. I love this. I love just stepping back in time and seeing this. Even then, I mean, look at it. It's almost like a military crest type approach that he's making as a fashion statement, too. I think it's just a pin, but you know what I'm talking about. That was his look for a long time through the 80s and even 90s. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching and stay tuned.